I'm going to take a guess and assume that you watching this video right now are using a mouse along the lines of the Logitech G Pro Wireless, the Glorious Model Low, the Kane 120 or the Razer Viper Mini. But my question to you is have you ever used a completely flat mouse for Bed Wars? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be doing that and seeing if it's maybe secretly overpowered. But anyways, if you happen to enjoy today's video, don't forget to go down below, click that subscribe button, and also don't forget to turn on post notifications. We're currently on the grind towards 100k subscribers, so it would be greatly appreciated if you could help me out. But anyways, with that being said, let's just see exactly what I'm going to be using. Okay, so as you can see, we're in the Hypixel Bedwars lobby right now, and I do have the mouse with me to the side, and we do have the hand cam today. But here is the mouse right here. Let's see if I can actually get a good angle. And it is the Logitech Pebble M350. And first of all, just look how small this packaging is right here. It honestly surprised me. It's literally as big as my hand, so I'm not really sure what I'm expecting in here. Okay, so I actually haven't plugged in the mouse yet, but I do have the mouse here. And as you can see, it is around a normal size for a mouse, which I didn't really expect, to be honest. But just look how sleek this mouse is. It's like completely flat. If you compare it with this Logitech G Pro wireless here, you can see the difference. And it has a completely black, sleek design. There's only one light on the back there, and that's just to show if it's on. Just listen to how quiet this mouse is. So this is the glorious model I hear, the sound. And this is the flat mouse here. And those are both right next to the mic. So it is very quiet. Okay, so I've got the mouse plugged in now, as you can see. And the first thing I've noticed, the last time I used a mouse like this, I believe it was when I used an ergonomic mouse. A very similar video, but the first thing I noticed is that the mouse has a very low polling rate. Now, I'm not really going to explain it, but basically, I'll show the difference. So this is me moving with this mouse right here, and you may notice it may look a tiny bit laggy. I'm not too sure. For me, it looks a lot worse. But then if you go to my normal mouse, it probably looks a lot smoother like this. Definitely does for me. So that is definitely going to be a problem for me. But last time I did this, for some reason, the mouse felt like it was giving me aimbot, I swear. But let's do a clicking test real quickly. So this is me normal clicking, and yeah, I'm just getting normal CPS. This is me jitter clicking right now, and it's a tiny bit higher than normal clicking. Hardly, because I don't think this mouse can really register the clicks. So I can get around like 9 CPS, 10, 9 CPS at max. On my normal mouse though, this is probably going to be like 15 CPS. So like that's 14, 15 CPS. Let's try butterfly clicking. Okay, so I can get like 10 CPS or butterfly clicking. But anyways, let's just get into the Bedwars games now and see how this mouse turns out. Okay, first I'm gonna give some specs and details about the mouse. So this mouse comes in at 100 grams, which is actually really, really heavy for a mouse of this size and how slim it is. For comparison, my glorious Model I actually comes in at around 60 grams and it is considerably bigger than this mouse. But honestly, it doesn't feel too bad. Now I bought this mouse for 25 USD, so it is quite cheap. It's really just an average office mouse, not really a gaming mouse. And well, we've, we've already fallen off, okay. Now I'm really hoping this mouse has the same effect as the other mouse, I swear. It felt like my aim was getting helped. It felt like I just couldn't miss the player. This is when I used another mouse with this type of sensor. So far this mouse actually doesn't feel too bad. Okay, we're gonna PvP red right here, unless they just... They just build up. Okay. Can you please come down here? Okay, you're going to go up there. We're just going to head up here. You can just go like this. Jump over here. We should be able to kill them. And they just got absolutely destroyed. Let's see if we can grab the bed. Now, also, I'm going to be normal clicking in the first game. And I'm going to be jitter clicking in the second game. And then butterfly clicking in the third game. Just to show, you know, the different aspects of this mouse. And this person is already getting absolutely destroyed right now. Now, the sensor while moving around in the chest does feel very inaccurate. I had to turn down the sensitivity on Minecraft quite a bit for this mouse. And my, and my aim feels kind of shaky, but for some reason, when I'm like actually PvPing someone, it feels completely fine. But I'm honestly so surprised with just how quiet this mouse is. Like, this is probably the quietest mouse I've ever used. Okay, Blue, can you come over here? What are you doing? Okay, uh, we're alive and they are dead. We clutched. Let's grab these diamonds right here and head over here. All right, they're coming over here now. 
We're just going to head up here, see if we can kill them again. We should be able to actually get them. Okay, we're getting some good hits off, and they're dead. I'm kind of noticing the effect right now. Let's see if we can finish off the job here. This person is running away. We may be able to just grab the bed quickly, and we actually have managed to do that. Okay, okay, we're gonna have to be a good chill here. Come on, surely, surely. Okay, we're about to get them, and a GG. We're actually rolling through this game right now. I swear I'm playing better now than I normally do. Maybe I should just use this mouse all the time. Now, I really expected the uh, flat aspect of this mouse to be bad, but I honestly don't really notice the difference. It may just be the way that I grip my mouse, but honestly, it feels completely fine. Okay, let's head over to White. They actually don't have a bed, so we should be able to just get the final kill here. White, what are you... Okay, we're gonna let them take Aqua Bed. Actually, no, we wanna take Aqua Bed. No, stop, 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 stop. Let me kill Aqua. Let me kill Aqua. You're gonna die, and then I'm gonna take the bed, okay? Okay, so Pink is also just over here. I might just pop the Imbis and then run up to them. Okay, they're actually running away. That is not a good thing. I thought they were going to come over to me, but this is going to be a bit of a waste of an invis. Hopefully, they just don't realize I'm following them. Okay, pink. Okay, we're going to let them cross here because I can't hit them off yet. Okay, let's kill them right here. They have no idea what's going on and they are dead. Oh, okay. And we nearly died right there, but we clutched. My clutches just seem to be so good right now, especially considering I'm only clicking six CPS. This game so far has been very, very good. Oh, this person is literally right here. Okay, uh, can we kill them? Come on. Okay, we got a hit off there. I have a plan. We're going to pop the jump potion, and we're just going to go like this. They have no idea this is going to happen. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see if we can finish them off here. Maybe. I'm not sure. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we got some good hits off. Okay, we're dead, but we may be able to finish them off. This person does seem to be pretty good, unfortunately. Oh. <sighs> this game was going so well until they really, really had to do that. Okay, so we are in the next game now, and... From what I can remember, the last game did not go too well. The reason why I say that is because after that game finished, my internet went out for like an entire day. So we are here now though, and I'm not warmed up at all. So I'm not sure how this game is actually going to go. I'm a tiny bit scared to say the least, but let's just get on with it. Now this game, I need to, to click and why is my why is my chest going see-through? Did you guys just see that? I'm not sure why that's happening. The red is all the way up there already. Jitter clicking is definitely not the best on this mouse. We're just going to head up here though. They have no idea where I am and we're just going to hit them off. And they are dead, GG. Let's see if we can just grab the bed and then get the final kill. We should be good to kill them. I hope we're going to be good to kill them. Person is just heading up here and they are dead. They just got absolutely destroyed. And let's quickly head over to Gray. Why not? Now this mouse in general while aiming does not feel responsive at all. But while clicking, it actually feels pretty responsive. Like, when I'm bridging like this, it seems pretty accurate. I'm going to say this and just fall off. That'd be an absolute classic scenical thing to do. But let's grab Gray's bed now. And Pink is actually here as well. I'm not sure what they are doing. And their bed actually just got taken. So I might just head up here and try and kill them real quick. Hello, Pink. Do you even know I'm here? No, and you're dead now. GG. Oh, and their bed's actually gone. So, um, I I'm, I'm very sorry, but you're going to have to die. I'm so sorry, Aqua. And now we just have white over here who do not have a bed as well. Everything's just falling into my hands right now. Um, but let's see if we can kill them right now. This person is just sitting in here and oh, oh my God. No, 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 please. Come on. Okay, we're dead, but they are very low. Now, actually, I'm a bit scared of yellow because it seems like they're grabbing emeralds and I do not like that at all. And I think they actually are grabbing stuff right now. So let's see if we can quickly kill them. Yeah, they have diamond armor. That is not cool. Um, are we going to be able to get them here? We should be able to. And hopefully they have some loot. Nope. So now we do indeed have a fireball. So I think we might just go like that and then hopefully kill them right here. They did just pop a gap, but I think this person is going to get absolutely destroyed and they are dead. GG. So all we have to do is go kill white now forgot to take their bed but you're, we're gonna count it this as a final kill i know we're gonna kill this person right now i'm certain of it and they are dead they had 17 gold and now all we gotta do is go over to white all right so oh okay um <laughs> that is a bit scary i really don't like the look of that i have to say my worst fears are confirmed our only chance right now is to really just kill them now if we give them the chance to reset it's not going to end well for us okay that actually might have that might have worked. Okay, I'm not sure what they were doing right there, but they are dead and that is a win for us. Okay, so we're in the third game now and this game I'm going to have to butterfly click and luckily when I butterfly click, I do get more CPS than when I jitter click on this mouse. I'm getting around like 10, 11, 9 CPS, which is honestly completely fine. So hopefully this game, you know, it can be a bit easier than the last one. I mean, to be fair though, we did do really well in the last game. Let's just head over to blue though. 
Now, I'm not sure what uh, Bluey's doing right now, but we're just going to... Oh, oh they came back at the wrong time. At, I, I was way... I was way... Now, honestly, I'm a bit scared of red. Anyone who's side rushing right now, they are not the greatest person. Okay, now blue just died. So let's see if we can actually get red now. Let's go like this and we should be able to kill them and we managed to do so. So now we're just going to head over to red's bed. I believe they are coming up. Okay, they're actually not. They build so high up. Let's just head up here. Now what I think we're going to do is we're just going to pop the gap. Hopefully and knock them off right here. Can you please just die? Can you please just die? Please. Thank you. Let's grab the bed. Now we are a bit low right now, so we're going to try and kill them, but I'm not sure exactly how this is actually going to go and what is what is even happening now. They are super laggy, but we did not uh, and okay, my bed is gone. I was happy there for a bit and my bed just got taken. But again, this game, we're actually doing quite well. Surprisingly better than I normally do with my normal mouse. And I swear I can speed bridge even faster than normal. Like, I'm going super fast right now. All right, so pink bed is just right over here. So we're going to go take that. Luckily, I brought ladders. So hopefully we can actually, you know, clutch on something. Let's clutch. Oh, okay. That was the easiest clutch ever. And I failed it miserably. And you know what? We're looking pretty good for these last couple of people in this game. And yellow, where is yellow? Okay, yellow's over there. They still have a bed. Pink does not have a bed. So where, whereabouts is pink? Oh, pink is just right there. I'm thinking we can just go like that. And this person is getting killed. Come on, come on. They're, they're not dead. Okay, and they just killed yellow. So we're gonna pop this gap right here. And hopefully, oh, they have some good armor. They do indeed have some good armor. But oh my God, they're getting destroyed. And, and yellow's here, and yellow's here. Oh, come on. Okay, I do not know where yellow came from, but we managed to actually get the win. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for the Bed Wars games today with the flat mouse. Now, if you enjoyed today's video and maybe you want to see more videos like this, I have some links up above right now to more videos like this where I use things such as an ergonomic mouse. So if you want to check those things out, just go click those links. But anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to go down below, click that subscribe button, and also don't forget to like the video. But anyways, I'll hopefully see you in the next video, and peace.